In this lesson, I'll be demonstrating how to install and configure the print client application for eShip so that you can print Courier Post, PACE, and New Zealand Post international labels. The print client application is an app installed on your computer that controls which printers eShip will print to. The print client is linked to your unique eShip login, and you can only have one print client linked to a login at a time. No matter which device you are logged into eShip on, when you print a label, the job is sent to your linked print client and printed out via that computer. One note before we start, this guide assumes you've already installed your printer driver software, so if you haven't, please check out our other videos on that topic. First, let's install the app and connect it to our eShip account. Browse to Settings, and then click Printing. Then, click the Download button that matches your operating system. I'm on Windows, so I'll choose the top option. Once the print client is downloaded, run it to begin the installation. Click Install. Once installed, the app will launch itself automatically and prompt you for an authorization code. The code is right here on the eShip printing page. After this, choose your default printer. eShip will use this printer until we choose some more specific options later. I'm going to choose my Sato CG412 label printer. Now the print client will automatically start each time you turn on the computer and log in and remain ready to receive print jobs. Next, we need to configure eShip and the print client for each courier that we use. We'll start with courier post. Courier post labels come in one size, 100 by 170 millimeters. This fits on our standard label stationery, which you can order from our website. Courier post labels can also be printed on plain A4 or A5 paper, but you'll need to think carefully about how you'll attach those paper labels to your boxes, as paper is not as weather resistant as our normal sticky labels. We need to tell eShip to use the print client to create these labels, and then specify which printer to use in the print client. On the printing settings page, click Advanced. Then click Add New Print Settings. Now we'll choose Courier Post. First, change the print method from Download PDF to Print Client. You should see the machine name for the PC that you installed the print client show up automatically. Now click Save. Over to the print client. You can find the print client in the system tray in the bottom right of your screen if you're running Windows, or if you're on a Mac, it'll usually be on the top bar in the middle. Go to the Printers tab, click the drop-down box and choose Courier Post under the label types. In the next box, choose either your label printer, which is our recommended option, or your A4 or A5 printer. I'll start with my label printer. Select it and then click Assign. Next, if I click on this item in the list, I get extra options. In this case, I'm good to go. The correct paper size has been set up and the orientation is correct as well. If I remove this option by clicking Unassign and then change to my A4 printer and then click Assign, I'll need to change some settings. In my case, I want to print to A5, so I'll just quickly change the paper size to A5. This tells printers to use their dedicated A5 tray if available. eShip will automatically scale the label image up a bit to fit the A5 size. Again, we recommend using a label printer and our specialized thermal labels, as they're faster to print, easier to affix to parcels, and are more weather and damage resistant. But if you're doing low volumes, or you don't want to buy a label printer, the A5 option works fine. Just remember to cover the label in clear tape, or use a clear plastic document window to protect the label during transit. Paste labels look just like our courier post labels and come in the same size, 100 by 170 millimeters. Again, we can print them on a label or A5 paper. On the printing settings page, click Advanced, I'm here already, then click Add New Print Settings, and then Paste. As before, change the print method to Print Client, and your PC should show up here on the list. Click Save. Over to the Print Client. Go to the Printers tab. Choose Paste under Label Types. And then assign your printer. I'll assign my label printer. Again, if I want to use A4 or A5, I just need to remember to change the page size. Otherwise, all that needs to be changed here is to make sure that we're using the 100 by 170 paper size.
New Zealand Post international labels are a bit more complicated to set up because different standard label sizes exist across the range of services. Some services are also accompanied by a separate A4 customs form. To accommodate this, eShip allows you to assign different printers for each standard size. Most services will work with our standard 100 by 170 mm labels and A4, A5 paper. eShip's print climb will automatically scale larger or smaller labels to fit to whichever option you choose. However, some label printers will not print scaled labels very clearly. So for best results, ask your account manager to add our special thermal variant services, which print the standard label at a smaller size designed specifically for label printers. There are thermal options for Air Parcel, Air Small Parcel, International Courier, and Go China services. There are two ways to get up and running. The first is to use the generic NZ Post option. This essentially creates a catch-all for all different NZ Post options. This is not the ideal option in most cases, but it'll get you started. To set it up in eShip, on the Printing Settings page, go to the Advanced tab again, and click Add New Print Settings. Now, choose the top option, which is just New Zealand Post on its own. Print Method, Print Client, and hit Save. Over to the Print Client. Under the Printers tab and Label Types, choose NZ Post, and then select your printer. In this case, I'm going to choose my A4 printer. Then I'll need to click the item in the list, and make sure the correct paper size is selected. A4 works best when using this option, as every label variation should fit on A4 just fine. Now over to option 2. If we're intending to print a variety of different NZ Post labels, as well as services that require the A4 Customs Declaration, we'll need to assign a printer for each size option. This is generally the better approach. Note that we can use the same printer for multiple sizes if needed. First, let's remove that generic option, and do the same in eShip. Now I'm going to quickly assign the print client to each of the different size options. It's worth noting at this point that you can mix and match even between printing some labels out on labels and paper directly, or printing straight to PDF. Over to the print client again, and we'll assign printers to each size. For both, 100 by 150 and 100 by 170. I'm going to set the paper size to 100 by 170 because that's how large the labels I'm using are. The 100 by 150 labels will get stretched upwards slightly to fit. I also need to remember to adjust the orientation to landscape. the A5 size, I'll assign my desktop printer, and I have the option of using the A4 or A5 sizes. Again, in this case it makes most sense to use A5. Selecting the paper size here lets your printer know which paper size to use if it has multiple trays. Finally, for the A4 customs pages, I'm going to print them on A4. Now that I've assigned each of these options, eShip is able to select the right printer based on both the courier that I use and the service that I select. To wrap up, if you need to test that everything's working correctly, go ahead and create an order and print it out. For Courier Post and New Zealand Post services, you can simply discard the label after printing and you will not get charged. Bear in mind though, this doesn't work for Pace, as creating a label also creates a job booking. Fortunately, if you're using the same settings for Courier Post, you should know already that it'll work fine as the label is the same. If you have any issues with orientation, such as labels printing 90 degrees rotated, just use the Portrait and Landscape options here, and remember to click Save Settings after making changes. Then try printing a label again. That's all for this lesson. Happy printing!